Welcome to our comparison video on switching from 275 70ths R18 to 265 65ths R18. The diameter difference here is 4.8%, exceeding the acceptable range. This interchange is not recommended, but if you choose to proceed, adaptations like leveling or lift kits may be necessary to prevent issues such as rubbing or clearance problems. The diameter reduction of 1.59 inches in the 265 65th tires will lower the vehicle's ground clearance. This could be beneficial for on-road stability and aerodynamics but may increase the risk of scraping on obstacles or rough roads. The width difference is minimal, with the 265 65ths being 0.39 inches narrower than the 275 70ths. This slight reduction maintains most of the traction and stability characteristics, though it might slightly improve fuel efficiency due to less rolling resistance. The sidewall height decreases by 0.8 inches when switching to the 265 65ths tires. This lower sidewall can enhance handling and response on paved roads but might reduce the ability to absorb impacts, leading to a potentially rougher ride on uneven terrains. With the smaller 265 65ths tires, the speedometer will read higher than the actual speed. For example, at a speedometer reading of 20 miles per hour, the actual speed will be 19.04 miles per hour. Based on our observation, switching to 265 65ths R18 offers benefits such as improved fuel efficiency and better handling on paved roads due to the smaller size and reduced rolling resistance. However, the reduced ground clearance and sidewall height may lead to a rougher ride on rough terrains and increased risk of scraping on obstacles. Additionally, the speedometer will read higher than the actual speed, which could affect speed regulation.